Sweet Osmanthus. I have to think back to my childhood, especially to my family. We were a large family and we enjoyed an idyllic life. Even in the presence of so many relatives, it was always a harmonious atmosphere. In those carefree days, I often thought if only such a life could last forever. <sighs> we often went on family outings to the mountains. Warm words and laughter always accompanied us on our voyages. I thought if only this could last forever. At a time, I thought of myself as a very pessimistic child. However, reality later convinced me that I was probably, probably too optimistic. Oh, it's a visual novel. It was the end of summer and a pleasant scent wafted in the breeze. The serenity of the mountains was overpowered by the deafening buzz of the kikanas. A truly quiet afternoon never exists. Han Hui. Ooh. With a, si with a sigh, I made my decision. I struggled to my feet so that I could step out of the shade. Oh well, I failed. <laughs> okay, the dew on the... I'll just read from there. So the dew on the grass had begun to vaporize under the hot summer sun. The shade provides by... Sky more? Skymore? Skymore tree stopped just at the edge of this grass as it was too afraid of the heat. How many times have I said these words today? It was my hope that through constant complaining I might find some distraction from this unbearable heat. Unfortunately, it did little more than sour my mood. Oh well, I thought I just over well, then it? With another side, I righted myself and looked around, hoping to find any reason to face this ghastly sunlight. The bag on my back, the bag on my back, felt like a thousand pounds. It was crammed with all manners of useless personal effects. Not that the bag was particularly light to begin with. The weight on my shoulders became unbearable. The sweat on my back evaporated almost immediately as I removed the bag and put it into my hands. I then became aware of a developing sharp pain in my shoulders. Ultimately, the bag becomes too heavy to carry and I toss it to my feet. I shouldn't have taken so much with me. I shook my head, braced myself and looked forward. Suddenly, I saw a little store on the edge of the mountain. A cook would sure be nice. <laughs> no, no, no. It had, it had been 43 minutes and 4 seconds. <laughs> At the specific. It's like she has a timer on her watch. Oh, 43 minutes and 4 seconds. Still finish all my water. For such a well-known place, it seemed rather barren. I saw no signs of other visitors. However, the spider had finally presented itself, I felt I had been clutching at straws. This door was my last hope. No, no, a straw is a terrible metaphor. It's so dry. Perhaps seaweed instead. Yes, seaweed! I laugh at my own unfunny joke. Ha 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 ha. I still had to cross the shadeless yard to reach my newfound sanctuary. Better than dying of thirst, I suppose. I made up my mind to move out of the shade. Ooh, nice. I seriously love the scenery. Seriously. Five minutes later. No, five minutes, three... Five minutes, uh, three seconds later. I regretted this decision. <laughs> what? Not counting the time? The little store was... <laughs> Cursey, 
It was a Wednesday. Even the most popular tourist attraction do not see many crowds during the work week. That must be why this store is closed. Empty boxes that once contained soft drinks were strewn about, about the floor. Strewn, 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 whatever. With a rice, with a worried smile, rice, well, with a, with a, I brace myself and look around. There was a small forest behind the store. Through the forest, I could see an ancient looking cloister, Pokemon, sitting upon the hillside. Beyond this cloister was a pavilion. The pavilion looked El Magnifico. Adorning each of the pavilion's four corners were bell shaped wind chimes that rang out crisply. I thought it might be best to wait out there until sunset. I made my way to the pavilion. The pavilion was much bigger than it had appeared from a distance. The inside was very spacious. It was much cleaner than I expected too. I attributed this to a lack of tourists. Normally, I'd be a little more picky about where I dress, but at that moment, I was far too tired to care and too thirsty. Don't forget, cockering me here. I found a corner and promptly sat down. I gazed out from the pavilion for the first time today. I felt lucky. The late summer sky was a translucent blue. Flocks of birds flew over my head and then disappeared into the mountains. Wildflowers colored the paths as butterflies danced among them. As the wind gusted, the forest canopy quivered like a ribbon. Through the trees, I could make out few old buildings. The chimes rang away. The sounds echoed throughout the mountains. I closed my eyes and took a deep breath. Earthly aromas emanating from the stream, soil and rotting leaves along with fleeting beats of my own memory, took my mind back to a place I have been long ago. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Halcyon, 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 Halcyon days spent with loved ones and the comfort of their warm woods. So that, is, that bird is freaking loud. There was a certain sweetness to it all. The air had mixed with something sweet, a scent evocative. Of this bygone time. It was the returning memory of late summer, sweet and intoxicating, and an irresistible fragrance. Sweet omantus? I wanted to open my eyes. The fragrance beguiled as a beguiled. The fragrance beguiled. Not perfect. I have no idea what it means. Well, how to pronounce it? The fragrance beguiled as if a pair of soft and delicate hands, covering my eyes, playing, and hiding from me. A feeling as if I were to remove these hands, the sweet fragrance might vanish. I attempted to retain this sense of wonderment despite my growing self-awareness of acting in a very childish manner. Wait, what? Okay, you saw that just now, right? That's a kitsune. Are you okay? Is this real? I heard a honey-like voice as a beautiful, as a beautiful mild face appeared before me. The smell of sweet osmanthus was heavy in the air. For a second, I didn't know what to say to this young girl. Are you all right? You look very tired. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Oh, that's not Japanese. That's... Oh, it's a Chinese game. Oh, Chinese characters. Do you need some water? Zilla. Do you need some water? The young girl began to speak as she took out a purple thermos. Hope you like it. Please enjoy. The girl handed me a cup of tea. I indulged in the sweet and fresh aromas. This is very nice of you. Thanks. I took the cup from her. Even though I was nearly dying of thirst, I wished to remain reserved in the presence of this mysterious young girl. The pale green liquid in the cup was invitingly clear. Somehow, cooking the hair. I felt a sudden coolness rush to my face. Apparently, the tea was ice. 
Oh nice. I slowly ah, screw that. Come on, Newman, go be right back. That hits the spot. I slowly sip the tea. It was mellow. A wonderful sensation filled my heart. The aroma of tea and honey paired well with the fragrance of sweet osmanthus. How's my tea? My knees. Sweet. I responded and quickly drank up the tea. This red ordinary tea has a very good taste, I must say. Hehehe, tapi sana ha 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 he The girl smiled upon hearing my praise. Her smile was impressive as her tea. Thank you very much. I felt a little bit strange expressing thanks to a girl who's younger than me. No, no, no. There's no strange. Thanks, a thanks is a is a thanks. Apa? Well, it's my pleasure. Her mannerisms and general demeanor were quite dis- no, sorry, disgraceful. Salah sabut. Graceful and modest in playing class. She appeared to be 12 or 13 years old and had a rather tall and slender build. She looked quite elegant and refined. I felt a little embarrassed when looking at her. My name is Hujia. May I know your name, sister? She raised her hand slightly. Han Hoi. Han Hoi. You heard her? Han Hoi. I nodded my head. Her name is Hoja. I repeated the name in my mind. Hoja. 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 Sis Hoi. Hoja called me Sis. With a sweet voice. Now that's the, pro- that's the correct one. <laughs> Not ha ha ha. Hoja seemed quite pleased and then laughed. It had been a long time since I was called Sis by a younger girl. With these feelings in my mind, I felt a little satisfaction. Thinking of the sweet tea, her sweet smile, and her sweet voice. If you people come here, it is dangerous. Be careful that you don't die. How terrible. Thank you anyway. I don't need to go home at sunset now. Sasat ko. Are you lost? Lost? No, 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 no. Only the person who has a destination could get lost. I'm just sort of rambling about aimlessly. Really? The girl cocked her head and looked at me. She didn't believe my words. I think I cocked her head. Her inquisitive expression made me smile. So cute. Upon seeing my smile, Jia returned the gesture bashfully. Then I got lost. Well, there's a little to do and so forth. For so few people come here. When I was a child and had picnic with my family, I just wanted to see a familiar place. I rarely to... I rarely told strangers of my personal matters. It felt different with Hesia. Not very given to say too much about my private business. The change covered Hesia's face. Her big eyes narrowed thoughtfully. So you haven't found your destination? Well, I've been here for many years. I'm not. Th- I have nothing to go on. She nodded and smiled again. Well then, this way, if you don't mind, please allow me to lead you there. Please, please. Please, please, please. If you get that reference, lead me there. Jia had a sparkle in her eyes. The place you're looking for must be filled with your memories. I promise, I will lead you there. Let's find a place from your memories. Well, I greatly appreciate the offer, but please, forget it. I really had no idea where it was. Don't worry, leave it to me. I grew up here. I know all the points of interest. With that, Hujia extended her hand. Are you sure it won't be trouble for you? Let me use a No trouble at all. Feel free to ask me any questions about this place. I took Hujia's hand and carefully stood up. Her allure compelled me. Could you please lead the way? Sure. I was lost in mountains and dying of fatigue. This little girl rescued me. Now she's going to lead the way to my destination. What's this divine reward? I couldn't recall doing anyone some great favor recently, but cared little. We embark upon our track. The girl skipped and twirled about, agile and graceful as a creature of the forest. Sometimes she would turn back to make sure I was still following her, spoke briefly, and then continued moving forward. So I'm going to stop right here. Alright, so... 
to give the uh, Japan the rest. You guys need rest. And uh, no worries, I'm going to make a second part of the video, continue on story from here on, onwards. All right? So, enjoy life, enjoy your day. Don't forget to share the video. Bye. Janet.